peace and power and welcome back to Katie's Alchemy. Tonight we're going to be talking about coriander seed. What you're looking at on the screen is the various stages of the plant and what it looks like from seed to a flowering. And so we're going to go over the benefits of coriander seed, but we're going to start at the basics. What is coriander seed? So coriander seed is the fruiting body of the coriander plant, which is a popular fresh herb. It's scientifically known as coriandrum sativum. And this plant as a whole is known as coriander, as in the spice, which is prepared using its seeds. And coriander seeds are light brown and round in appearance. And they can either be cooked whole where the flavor is enhanced or they can be ground, although they quickly lose their potency in that form. Um, the seeds have a unique taste, combining nutty, spicy, and citrus elements to create an inviting aroma in many dishes around the world. Now, um, coriander seed is a very popular ingredient in Asian dishes and curries, but they are not. They are also used in the making of sausage, um, stews, soups, breads, and pickling vegetables. Some people even use coriander seed in the process of brewing beer. So um, there's just a little history on the coriander seed. Now, as far as nutrition is concerned, coriander seeds are packed with nutrients, including high levels of dietary fiber, antioxidants, B vitamins, vitamin C, potassium, copper, magnesium, manganese, zinc, iron, and calcium. These seeds also provide a moderate amount of protein and fat, although they would need to be eaten in large quantities to have a notable effect on those intake levels. Now, the smell of coriander comes from its antioxidants and volatile oils, which include linoleic acid and oleic acid and linalool, alpha panine and terpene among others okay so what we're going to do now is go right into some of the benefits of the coriander seed again this is one of the 17 herbs used in my fat flush tea and the most notable health benefits of coriander seeds includes regulating blood sugar levels improving digestion and heart health um, not to mention weight loss skin and hair care and boosting immunity and more. Now, skin care, the active ingredients in these seeds are known to improve skin health and how it does is neutralizing the effects of free radicals and lowering levels of oxidative stress, which can prevent symptoms of eczema, psoriasis, and rosacea. A lot of people that I know personally suffer with eczema, including myself. Um, as far as hair care, the rich mineral composition of the seeds, in addition to the protein and healthy fats, can help boost hair strength and growth when consumed topically, when consumed or applied topically, like in a medicinal salve or hair wash. It also treats diabetes because of the dietary fiber in the seeds. It can help you release um it can help you regulate the release of your insulin and glucose in your body, which is good news for diabetic patients. Now, this is according to the research published in the Journal of Phyt Phytotherapy um, Research. It showed that coriander helped in decreasing the serum glucose levels in a diabetic rat and increased the insulin release from their pancreas. Okay, and, um, we're just going to go through a couple of other things that it's good for, which it, it helps aid in digestion. It also improves heart health because it's found regular, con we found a regular consumption of these seeds can lower the LDL levels, which can help to prevent atherosclerosis, heart attack, stroke, and coronary heart disease. It also boosts the immune system. Um, being that it's very, um, it is, it has a lot of fiber in it. 
um, being it is fiber rich, that's what I was trying to say. Being it is a fiber rich um, herb, it also helps in weight loss. Now, how can you use coriander seed? Um, as I stated before, you can ground it up, which it does lose its potency, or you can just take the seeds and make a tea. And so again, this is one of the 17 herbs that I have formulated for my fat flush tea. Feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in purchasing some fat flush tea. Again, I am Nina, Katie's granddaughter, and I'm going to be just sharing with you some of the herbs I use and the benefits of the herbs so that you can become familiar. Now, this is by no means to be taken as medical advice. I am not a physician or a doctor. I am just a herbalist and I wanted to share my herbs with you. So I appreciate your support and for staying and being here. Peace and power and I'm out.